What's up, YouTube? Welcome back, guys, to another video. So today, I'm gonna be installing some catch cans on my car. Um, so this is gonna be a two-part video uh, because there's actually two different catch cans that you can install. So I have here the ADDW1 oil catch cans. So they have a stage two kit. Um, you don't need to tune or anything. What they mean by stage two is that stage one, which is gonna be this can, this is gonna go for the CCV um, side of the car, of the, of the intake system. And then this other catch can here, this is gonna go to the PCV system. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the CCV side because you don't need to do both. You could only do one, but you know, to get the most benefit, it's a good idea to do both. And for those of you guys that don't know what a catch can does, well, there's two. You can either get an oil catch can or you can get an AOS, an air oil separator. They both do similar functions. And what they do is that they collect the oil vapor that's in the PCV and CCV systems. So basically, some of the exhaust gas gets recirculated back into the intake and oil is in there and like other contaminants. That stuff is basically recirculating, going back into the intake and that's for like emissions and stuff. So the whole point of this is to try to catch that oil vapor before it goes back into the intake. And the reason you want to do that is because um, since our cars, the WRXs, the 2015 and up, are direct injected, so that means that there's no gas being sprayed on the intake valves. So what that means is that the intake valves can get you know, clogged up or they can get very dirty, they can build up a lot of carbon deposits. And having this oil vapor cover the intake valves will help them get dirty quicker. So that's not a good thing. Um, so that's why it's a good idea to get some of these, either oil catch cans or air oil separator to separate that oil before they go back into the intake. And that way the, um, the intake valves will stay cleaner for longer. Okay, and then here I'm just gonna show you guys like a little bit more about these catch cans. So you can get these in different colored rings. I got these with the, the red ring. Um, they come with a little dipstick. So you can check the level of the oil fluid in the catch can and see when you need to start emptying it out. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check it like during every oil change. Um, if you unscrew it here, you'll see that there's baffling on the inside. So this baffling is what helps to separate the oil vapor when the uh, you know when the air is passing through here and here's the inside you could hook up like a hose at the bottom to have it drain automatically somewhere or install like a drain plug or something like that I'm not gonna do that whenever I need to empty them what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna unscrew the whole can and then take it out and then pour out whatever oil is in there so I actually, um, I'll put up another video, like in a couple months or so, like after I have these installed, just to see how much oil actually gets con collected in here. Um, I'm hoping that it's not too much, but at the same time, I do want to see some oil, because then that means that these are actually, you know, functioning properly and doing what they're supposed to. In the instructions, or there's like some documentation that came with these, that says to check it every like 500 to 1,000 miles. So I'll check that little dipstick, I guess, every now and then. But um, I'm not really going to empty them out until either I see that it starts to get pretty full or like just during my oil changes. So just so you guys are aware, the CCV catch can is going to go on this side. The PCV catch can is going to go back there on that side. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take off the clips. There's two clips holding in the engine cover. So remove those two clips and then take off the engine cover. Okay, next. After you have your engine cover removed, there are some clips that are holding in the ho this hose here. There's just these little guys. So, you know, just get a flathead. Same thing as the clips holding in the engine cover. And then you can remove those. And that just makes it easier to move this hose around because we're actually going to end up cutting this hose right here because this is the CCV hose. Okay, so next, you want to cut this vent line, I'm gonna make a cut around here and another cut around here. Okay, so I just cut this portion here. So you wanna get like a pipe cutter or tube cutter. I just got this from Lowe's for like 15 bucks. And this is the part I just 
cut off. And then now we're going to want to start installing the actual can itself. So basically the can is going to go over here. There's two bolts here for the intercooler bracket that we're going to have to remove. And then the catch can bracket is going to mount here. And then one of the tubes is going to go to this side. The other side, the other tube is going to go to this side. Okay. So next we want to start setting up the bracket onto the actual cash can itself. So there's two brackets. There's a little bracket. This one will actually mount to two of these screws here. So you basically pick whichever screws you want. Um, I'm gonna pick these two screws. So that way that the tubes are facing in the most front facing direction as possible to make it easier for me to connect my tubes. So I'm gonna remove these two screws and attach the little bracket. Okay, so now that I have this little bracket mounted, nice and solid, you don't have to go crazy with it, you know, just make sure it's nice and firm, but you know, don't over tighten it and strip the head. Um, so now I'm gonna mount the other, the longer bracket that's actually gonna mount to the intercooler bracket on the car. So for this bracket, you see these two holes over here. You got two holes here on the side of the bracket. So then you're gonna wanna basically mount it like this. And then you have two little screws with nuts. So you're gonna use these to secure the um, intercooler bracket to the little bracket that's on the catch can. And then the way it works is you want this nut to be on the inside, basically like on the inside portion. And then you're gonna fit the screw through the intercooler bracket, through the catch can bracket, and that's how you're gonna mount it. And that's how you're gonna secure it. Okay, so I actually removed the bracket and then I just mounted it separately because this is a lot easier. Cause it was kind of hard holding in these nuts while, it was, while this top part was attached to the can. So now I have this whole bracket put together. So now I'll just mount the whole thing. All right. Now this is ready to go in the car. So now I'm actually gonna put the fittings that go here. I'm gonna use the O-ring. I'm gonna see if it actually seals properly. If not, I have Teflon tape. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of Teflon tape on the fitting itself on the threads to make sure I get a nice tight seal. Okay, so here I have the fitting. So for the CCV side, both fittings are the exact same size. As you can see, same size fittings. On the stage two one, um, there's a big fitting and a smaller fitting. And then if I can get to these guys here. So here I have the O-ring. You know, just fit it right over the top. Roll it on. Very good. I'm gonna get a wrench and tighten these guys down like snug. And I think I should be fine. So if yours doesn't come with an O-ring for some reason, use Teflon tape to make sure you have a nice seal. So since I have the O-rings, I'm not gonna use Teflon. But again, like I'll check. If I get like some kind of weird vacuum leak or something, then I'll go back and use Teflon tape. By the way, these are 19 millimeter. So I got them nice and snug. I didn't go crazy, but as you can see, you know, that ring is nice and compressed in there. It should be a nice tight seal. So now we're gonna work on mounting this part to the actual intercooler bracket. Okay, so these bolts are the ones we gotta remove. These are 12 millimeter bolts. So unscrew these two. And then we're gonna mount the catch can with the bracket on here. So I removed the two bolts that were there. So we're not gonna reuse the OEM bolts, but we're gonna use the ones that came with the kit. So these are six millimeter Allen key bolts. And then here we have the catch can. It's kinda hard to see, the lighting is not the best. There's the catch can. And there is the 
bolts of those washers. So as you can see, my hoses are kind of, or my, and my fittings are like kind of right where that bend is for that other tube. So it's up to you how you want to have this can positioned because, you know, if I just push this down, not a problem. But, you know, if it is a problem for you, if you just rotate this, like if you unbolt it from here and just move it over two or one spot, that'll rotate this piece a little over this way and then you'll have a little bit more clearance on this side. So again, up to you how you want to route that. Um, it's not gonna affect, you know, how it works, obviously, it's still gonna function fine. But uh, yeah, so that's done. So now the only thing left to do is to connect these two in the inlet and outlet to the original hose here. So let me get my hoses and see how I wanna route this. Cause in the manual it says to cut a little bit more here, but honestly, I'm gonna leave it right there. Uh, I'm gonna clean my hose a little bit cause it is dirty. It's pretty dusty in here. It's been a while since I cleaned this. So I am gonna clean that. And then, uh, you know, the new hoses are just gonna fit right over here with the hose clamp, same thing on this side. But if you leave it here on this side, the problem is this one's gonna have to make like a U bend to come back. And then the manual says to actually cut around here somewhere, that way it just goes directly. So I'm gonna see how this looks and see how I want to cut that piece. All right guys, so I finally have everything installed. It's not the prettiest setup, but let me see if I could get this light angle properly. But the way you wanna connect these hoses is this left side, that is the inlet, the right side over here, that is the outlet. So the inlet will go to the portion of the tube that's underneath the intake manifold on the right side of the intercooler. And then the outlet will go over to the tube that's in front of the intercooler um, on the left side, that's this one. So inlet goes down here. Outlet goes over here. So I actually did cut a little bit more. So originally the tube ended here. Like when I cut this piece here, the original piece. So I cut inside a little bit more. So as you can see, it's down there. Um, I tightened down the hose clamps, made sure they're nice and firm. And then also to keep this hose over here from like moving, I just got a zip tie and just zip tied it there. That way it's not gonna move. So hopefully that's fine. Um, but yeah. So if you wanna get like a cleaner install to have both lines, let's say running parallel to each other, that's kind of what they have in the manual. You're gonna have to cut this hose because this hose is way too long to go in at that angle. So what they did, I think they also cut inside a little bit more because what they did is they had the inlet line go from down there and then wrap around here. So it went around here like on the inside, but this hose is way too long to do that. And I don't really want to be messing with the hoses too much. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. This is fine. As long as you, if you use the, um, engine cover and we're gonna put it back on as long as those hoses don't interfere with the engine cover it's fine it's not a big deal um, this is all aesthetics if you want it to look nice and clean and nice and even then okay cut that hose and then keep trimming that bottom portion of that um, what is it the PC CCV tube sorry uh, so you can cut that one down there a little bit further in so this hose goes down further but yeah I'm going to leave it like this. This is fine for now. Um, but yeah. So this is part one. This was the CCV or the stage one catch can. So I'm going to make a separate video installing the stage two catch can. So the stage two catch can is a little bit more involved because you have to remove the intercooler completely because the hoses that you need to connect go on the back side. So you got to go down there. Um, but yeah. So if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe, and yeah, look forward to the stage two one.